Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Feels like we don't do these too often anymore. Our girl doesn't really come around much. It's a shame, it's a shame. Well, this is Amber Lynn's first upload in I think a week. Yeah, about seven or eight days now. It's titled, Help Me Weigh In, Eat, and Shop With Me. Also, we'll be meeting some subscribers um, or talking about meeting some subscribers events that definitely did happen <laughs> okay uh sounds like amber lynn has a full plate for us to dig into today so why don't we get started good morning good morning welcome to a new vlog so today i'm gonna be vlogging i always have my phone on silent but when i am sleeping my phone is always on loud just in case someone needs me like my mom whatever it may be or my valentine wants to call me so anyways i woke up today my mom called me oh we're doing this again mm. how many different nicknames did jade have throughout season five my girlfriend, Feline. I swear she called her a whole, she called her anything except for the girl's name. <laughs> so now we're doing the new girl, which might be Alexis, might not be Alexis. We don't really know. But the new girl is now my Valentine. Amber Lynn, Valentine's Day's over. You're 34-ish. Was she 33 or 34? I don't even know. Can we just call people by their names? Like, why, why do we have to call other 30-something-year-old women Feline and Valentine and Schnookums? And, like, why are we using all of these girl-world terms of endearment? It's just silly. Um, I, I, I guess she's trying to protect the privacy of this girl. I, I don't know. It doesn't really make sense to me because she came on here last week, talked about Alexis. Alexis's social media has been leaked. It's kind of been all over the place. I don't really know what we're doing at this point. I don't think that she knows what she's doing at this point. So I guess we're all just here for the ride, y'all. Valentine. All right, let's go with that. Um, we have plans today. So she's going to come pick me up. We're gonna go to my grandma's and then I think we're gonna go out shopping. We're gonna go grab something to eat. I'll vlog a little bit of it. Also woke up in the middle of the night with wasabi just like laying on my chest, just like making bread. And I was like, okay, love that for me. I heard like scary things that like cats can like steal your breath. I don't think that's true, but that's definitely creepy. Anyways, I'm looking like <laughs> your girl needs to get ready. So I will be right back. Oh, this is her after she got ready? Okay. Um, is this Crimp Lynn? I've been told in the past that Amber Lynn's attempt at crimping was not successful. And that the crimpers of girl world do not claim her so i don't know if she's about to do a whole debut of crimp lynn here but it's kind of looking like that also amber with all of the clothes that you have with all of the hauls you've done in the past this betsy johnson top has been a recurring side character for a while now Maybe something a little bit new once we do some spring cleaning. Maybe we head to the outlet mall with mom. Maybe go to Torrid. Huh? Maybe. I'm just saying the Betsy Johnson dress is a little overdone at this point. So I am ready. Today my hair is... <laughs> she has volume. She's frizzy. I need help, you guys. I'm 33 years old. I just started having frizzy hair within the last couple of years. Um... Help me, please, because I don't like it. Um, I did a light crimp to my hair or a wave, whatever you want to call it. I was going to straighten it, but it just, I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to try something different. So I have my rings on, which people have been asking about them. I got them from Amazon. This one in particular is... 
light crimp. What do we think? Is this a light crimp? It just kind of. I mean, I don't. I don't really know. I. I, I don't. I don't think that this is crimp. Anytime I've ever seen someone with crimped hair, um, in in my mind, the image that I have, it's not, it's not matching up with Amber on the screen right now. This just kind of looks like she needs to brush her hair, personally. But I don't know. Hey, hey, you know what? She said that she needed help. She opened herself up to suggestions and I'm providing one. Is that me being toxic or is that just me giving a suggestion? <laughs> or can two things be true at the same time? What do we think? Crimp or no crimp? <laughs> Howie Mandel's newest uh, reality TV show. <laughs> no, re not reality TV, game show. <laughs> crimp or no crimp? <laughs> about them i got them from amazon this one in particular is about like self-love so i was like that's so sweet and then i got this one this one this one this one they're like all just from a pack earrings are probably from amazon necklace is from torrid from like literally years ago okay guys so i actually have a couple clips from the last few days they're very pointless clips but i'm gonna add them here hey guys so i actually have not been vlogging i haven't been i don't know if it's just okay maybe this is like nitpicky and like mean at this point Maybe it's just the way the light's hitting her hair. But did anyone else see in this scene right here some gray? Like, where my mouse is. Are we entering a gray arc? Mmm. Will this be the next book in the Fifty Shades of Gray series? Amber Lynn and her valentine. Mmm. New steamy romance novel, Amber Lynn Gray. Okay, so I actually have a couple clips here. Hey guys, so I actually have not been vlogging. I haven't been filming. I've been doing really good, just like mentally and just like happy, but like I have not been motivated to film like whatsoever. And I don't know why. Like I have not wanted to pick up the camera. I have gone out and done things. You know, there's things I want to talk about, but it's like for some reason it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i i've i've been doing shit i really have been i've been going out my mom's been taking me here she's been taking me there uh i do shit y'all i just i haven't really felt very compelled to film or make videos um who all show of hands show of hands who all has this attitude toward work when you show up in the morning or, you know, night shift or whatever it is that you do um, to make money to sustain life on this floating rock that we're all on. And that sense of dread comes over you of, I don't want to be here right now. I don't want to be doing this. I hate this. I hate the people I work with. I hate the orders that I'm receiving. I hate the person that is giving me said orders. I... <laughs> Okay, all right. Okay, uh, did, did I did I find common ground with any of you here? Okay. So following up with that, how many of y'all just get to say "fuck it"? I'm not feeling it. <laughs> I'm I'm just not gonna come in for a whole week. I'm just not really feeling the whole like film and do and upload thing. So YouTube this week. <sighs> It's not the vibe. It's just not the vibe. I think uh, maybe next week. Maybe next week. <laughs> I have said this time and time again. Amber Lynn does not want to do YouTube anymore. It was cute. It was quirky. It was funny. She liked the attention throughout her 20s. But it has just become pulling teeth at this point. She doesn't want to be involved with drama. She doesn't want to be involved with girl world. She doesn't want to have to answer to people. She's sick and tired of reaction channels. The only reason this continues is because it is quick, easy money. And the alternative would pay a fraction of what she's receiving from YouTube. And I mean, 
if we're being honest, you know, if we're still on the same train track of being honest, I don't know if there would be an alternative. Quite literally, I don't know if there could be an alternative for Amber Lynn at this point. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I can't imagine why she hasn't wanted to film for the past week. It's almost as if she doesn't want to be making this video. Almost. It's just like picking up the camera has been like just really hard for me. So I, I need to try to do better with that. But I do apologize because um, I know a lot of you are like, where are you? Where are you? I don't even know where I am half the time. So it's hard for me to answer that as well. Hello, February 21st. Hello. It's ready. Okay, stepping on. 505.0 pounds. Hey guys, so I have not vlogged at all today, but I really wanted to show you. So what she gained? Wasn't she like 501? This seriously, I I mean, I, the last time I made an Amber Lynn video was like nine days ago. We we don't really keep up on this much anymore. I think she was like 501 last time. So she gained weight. Okay. Must be the damn sodium. So you guys, my earrings, because as you can see, my nails. Look at the earrings I wore today. I bought them off of Amazon. Look how cute. It matches so good because I'm wearing like all black. I also have some white, just some straight moment. I don't know. Just the vibe is vibing and I'm definitely here for it. Okay, so we are all caught up. Now let's get on with the day. Thank you. There's no way. No, I don't want it. You can just add it into yours. So she won't cook at home for herself, but she'll go out and cook for herself for fun. <laughs> this is what she did with the friends. Remember when the friends came to visit like last month or whatever? She went out to this like Korean barbecue looking thing, hot, hot pot. I don't know what you call this. She did this with the friends and now she's doing it with the mom and grandma. Okay. Work. One time I was in a gas station. I want this to be the screenshot while I tell the story that's on the screen right now. Um, one time I walked in a gas station. Woman was wearing a T-shirt. It had a cup of ramen on it. And the, beneath it, it said, send nudes. And I stopped her. I said, oh, that's a cute shirt. That's funny. And she was like, why is it funny? This is This is actually my daughter's. I have no idea what this means. I'm like, well, it's a shirt that says send nudes. It's like a play on words for nude photographs, but it's about noodles. And she, she got so red in the face and she was like, oh, oh, like <laughs> something tells me that that daughter had a talking to when she saw her next. All right, Amber Lynn, take it away. Walk, walk, fashion, baby. I would like to see a different department store than Ross. Maybe like a Home Goods or a TJ Maxx moment situation type deal. Season six has not been much. But of the few department stores we have gone to, it's mostly been Ross. Something new, Amber. Something new, please. I know you don't feel motivated to do this. But we're we're here for the long haul, girl. We are. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
kind of cute. My purse always slides off my shoulder. Oh, I actually went the other day to Bath and Body Works. I got a whole bunch of soaps. They have like a new tropical line out. It's kind of weird that they released it in February, but yeah, it's like all like Maui Riptide and like uh, tropical hibiscus, like all, all of these like leaf looking things on the packaging. It's cute. I'll tell y'all what, I smelled a candle, um, Fiji White Sands at Bath and Body the other day. Really liked Fiji White Sands. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like her pants. What the? Okay, guys, so the most simple haul ever, eggs, um, some sugar-free, zero-calorie, uh, French vanilla flavoring, stevia body armor, spray zero, chicken, some canned chicken, uh, premier protein, some bounty, and enough of these to have. Holy shit, look at all these. Oh my. I think I've had these before and they're actually not bad. Made with organic vegetables and tofu. I like tofu. Do y'all like tofu? If you've never given it a try, I'd recommend it. I like it. I do. Damn. Pop one of these babies in the microwave and you'll be good in about four minutes. All right. I guess that's what we're doing nowadays. Amber Lynn has a personal chef. His name's Mike. Last name, Row Wave. <laughs> Is the commentary like lower tier this episode? Is it is it kind of like boring? I mean, y'all, it's just we have done this a billion times before. We have been to the grocery store. We've been to Torrid. We've been to Ross. We've listened to her gain five pounds. I, I mean, how do I keep things spicy? That's for me to figure out. That's for me to figure out. One a day because I'm doing a meal plan and I just don't want to think too much about it. Okay, you guys, so let's do a little haul. It's just like a mini one. I want to show you guys what I got today when I went shopping with my mom and my grandma. I just want to say that there was so many subscribers out today that I met. Hello, hello. Like you guys are so sweet. You literally make my day. Like my mom and my grandma can't get over the concept of like YouTube and like me being like known to people. Sometimes I just like, I don't, I don't want to say I'm like so used to it, but it's just been like a blessing for the lack of a better term for years for me. Cause like, I love meeting you guys and I'm just like so grateful how sweet you are and kind. And I just love it so much. But like when my mom like starts to think about it and like talk about it, then I start to be like, wow, it is kind of crazy that I like so many people in my city, like know me. And it, it's just shocking because I was right. Oh my God. She's just so famous, everybody. She is. The lights, the camera, the paparazzi. It's it's just overwhelming for her. So many people in her new city know her. I mean, just, oh. It's incredible, really, it's incredible. There's no other way to describe it. It's, um. she's pretty desensitized to it at this point. Just the fame. And the paparazzi and everything. I guess you would get used to it after a while. But that's the point that we're at. Recognized a lot in Kentucky. But it is quadrupled um, since I moved to Oklahoma. So if you guys are watching, hello. You know, I always just think it's funny that Amber Lynn runs into all these people. Well, maybe she doesn't run into them. Let's hope not. She runs into all these people. And takes photos. Everyone's really nice. Every Like, whatever, yada, yada, yada. I have never once, ever, seen a fan photo of Amber Lynn with someone else. I've seen, like, 
shots of her in Walmart parking lot and I've seen shots of her leaving her apartment complex and like random people taking photos like like the laundromat thing that happened last month I've seen those kind of pictures but never anyone with like arm around Amber's shoulder smiling like oh I met Amber Lynn Reed today never I've never seen one of those photos before but apparently it happens all the time all the time Everyone in her city recognizes her. Everyone. Every single person. They gave her a key to the city. The mayor got down on one knee and gave Amber Lynn Reed a key to the city. They did. They did. Oh, I love you. You guys have all been so sweet. Okay, so time for the haul. The first place um, I got some stuff from was Ross. So I got this. It's actually really heavy. I don't know. I love it. I might put it in my bathroom. Okay, everybody. So I didn't work for a week, and then I went to Ross and bought a miscellaneous pyramid-looking thing. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. So, a little ASMR for you guys. <laughs> and then I also got this to put on my bookshelf. Look at her, she's so cute with like the fake plant. I love it so much. She's adorable. So I had to take her home with me. And then I also got these sunglasses. My mom said they look good on me. I don't know. So this is how they look. I don't know if I Why do I feel like she already has this exact pair of sunglasses? I mean, not that we're a stranger to buying things that we don't need. But I swear, she has this exact pair of sunglasses. These very wide lens, black frame sunglasses. Like, she has these. She does. But I guess we're just gonna... Keep... Should I do the rest of the video like this? I don't know. Is this cute? Who, 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 looks, who, who wore it better? Me or her? Who, who's wearing it better? Huh? Vote in the comments. Folks. And then we went to Bath and Body Works. And my mom actually bought this for me. I thought it was so sweet of her. I got the Sweetheart Cherry uh, Fine Fragrance Mist. And then I also got the matching Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. Not gonna lie to you, they smell good, but I got them because of the packaging. I've really been into cherries lately. I don't really know what it is. She cute, she cute. And then uh, we went- Oh, you know what I was pissed to find out actually? Remember those stickers that I bought on Etsy? The Amber Lynn stickers that I bought? Yeah. Um, where is it? Hel the Hello, I'm a La. Pappy had a heart attack today. And the big, ch big, big, big cherry. St These aren't stickers. I, I was trying to peel them off and everything to get the sticky side. Wasn't a sticker. Uh-uh. Wasn't a sticker. So I guess if anything, I'm going to have to glue it. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know what's happening to our economy. I'm getting sticker fished. People are buying excess pairs of sunglasses. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm anxious. I've been a few other places, but the last place that I got something from was Torrid. Another pair of sunglasses. I love these. Like, I love these a lot, but like whoever is looking into them is literally looking into a mirror. So... I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, guys, we are going to do a taste test. We're going to be taste testing. Baby carrots and sour cream with ranch dressing mix. No, 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 no. no. Some, some miscellaneous uh, bell pepper in mustard. What do we think? Huh? The mysterious white stuff at the bottom of the Gatorade Zero bottle. What are we doing today, y'all? Come on. This is going to be on the chapter test. Dun, dun, dun. Strawberry banana body armor. So I am going to give her a shake because that is what I do. Natural flavors and sweeteners, coconut water, electrolytes, B vitamins, antioxidants. So I've been told that this is good and tasty. And so let's try it. 
This is what she looks like, strawberry banana. Let's open her up. Ooh, that smells delish. All right, let's go. Okay, I will. So what are we doing? Are we done with the diet stuff? Are we done with Gatorade Zero? Because she got rid of Arctic Rush and she got rid of the orange one. So now that that's off the cast, that opens up a new slot for a drink to enter Amber Lynn's fridge. Are we doing this body armor stuff? Does this have zero calories? Mm. What are we doing? Are we entering a smoothie era? I'll say the flavor is not as strong as I expected it to be. I taste the strawberry and I taste the banana. I like this a lot, actually. Out of 10, I'm going to give it... 9.5. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. <gasps> not shabby. Refrigerate after opening. Who wouldn't do that? Hey guys, it is the next day. I'm currently in the middle of filming a what I ate today video, but I do want to end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Oh boy. Okay. Um, Y'all, this was a rough one. Some are good-ish. Well, good. I mean, like, you know, you have to modify the way that you view the content. You know what I mean? It's like good for Amber Lynn. I mean, you know, like not good in general, but for Amber Lynn, this one was a toughie. This one was a toughie. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I appreciate you. And I'll see you soon.